Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thanks for joining me for another beer review. Time to head off to Sweden, guys, for a little bit of impy stout action. Went into the old beer collection, picked this one out, guys. So after, uh, well, a very long while, we're heading back to Nas Gold's Brewery or Nas Farm Brewery. This is their Imperial Stout, uh, weighing in at 10% ABV, 330 ml bottle. Uh, they don't say much on it. It says it's bottled on 2020s. 0730, so the 30th of July, that's four years ago, and a little bit there, but I can't really see what it says. So, there, uh, I think it says barley malts and oats for ingredients and uh, water, and of course, hops and yeast. Uh, there's the bottle cap. So, with, without any further ado, guys, let's pop the top, see what we're going to get. There we go. A little bit of a stiff one, a little bit of smoke. Okay. Yeah, man. Looking good. There we go. Gonna pour the rest of that beer out. See if, if we perhaps have any bottom sediments. Right. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, haven't had anything from these guys in years. What do we have? Fingers and a half, one finger and a half, I would say, of a mocha colored head. Uh, of course, as you can see, yeah, I'll go for Jet Black on that one. There we go. You can hear the carbonation, hiss and fizz on the nose. Oh, lovely chocolate on the nose. That's nice. Yeah, you can get the oats as well. That's really nice. It's got a kind of a nice oaty, chocolatey nose on it. Dark malts, chocolate, oats. Yeah, man, that smells nice, actually. It's without any further ado, guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh, not bad. A lot of chocolate in the aftertaste. Yeah, that's nice. It's got a really, really interesting aftertaste. Long lingering, chocolatey, dark malts, got the oats there as well. Uh, I'm positively surprised. Uh, a little bit of a red wine note initially, I thought. Let's go again for a second sip. Oh. Maybe like a faint inkling of red wine initially. Perhaps like, like a red wine fruitiness there, but it's very, very, very minuscule, guys. The rest is about a lovely dark malty, chocolatey taste. A little bit of a bitterness at the back end. You get the oats in there. I'm really positively surprised. Actually, super positive, positively surprised there. I did not expect much, guys, from this one. Uh, but but for me, what a lovely stout. Final sip. Mm. Oh, good boost in us there. Love that chocolatey flavor, dark malts, get the oats, a little bit of a faint dark fruit red wine uh, note to it. But for me, guys, this is uh, this is solid. Yeah, the body could have been a little bit more beefed up, if I'm going to be absolutely honest. But I'm still going to give this beer the benefit of the doubt. I'm very positively surprised. Guys, Nas Goldsbryggeri or Nas Farm Brewery. This is their Imperial Stout, 10% ABV, 330ml bottle from Sweden. Fantastic 
uh, for me. What a lovely chocolatey flavor. Four out of five. Thanks for watching.